The Comoros, officially the Union of the Comoros, is an independent country made up of three islands in southeastern Africa, located at the northern end of the Mozambique Channel in the Indian Ocean. Its capital and largest city is Moroni. Separated from the mainland by the Mozambique Channel, Comoros has Tanzania to the northwest, Mozambique to the west, and the Seychelles to the northeast. The religion of the majority of the population, and the official state religion, is Sunni Islam. As a member of the Arab League, it is the only country in the Arab world which is entirely in the Southern Hemisphere. Comoros proclaimed their independence on July 6, 1975. It is also a member state of the African Union, the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, and the Indian Ocean Commission. The country has three official languages, Angazit Jacomo Ryan, French and Arabic. The sovereign state consists of three major islands and numerous smaller islands, all in the volcanic Comoro Islands with the notable exception of Mayotte. Mayotte voted against independence from France in a referendum in 1974, and has since then never been administered by an independent Comoros government, and continues to be administered by France as an overseas department. France has vetoed United Nations Security Council resolutions that would affirm Comorian sovereignty over the island. Mayotte became an overseas department in a region of France in 2011 following a referendum which was passed overwhelmingly. At 1,861 square kilometres, the Comoros is the fourth smallest African nation by area. Its population is estimated at 850,886 residents as of 2019. The Comoros was probably first settled by Austronesians, subsequently, followed by Bantu speakers from East Africa along with Arabs. It then became part of the French colonial empire during the 19th century, before its independence in 1975. Since then, it has experienced more than 20 coups or attempted coups with various heads of state assassinated. Along with this constant political instability, it has one of the worst levels of income inequality of any nation, and ranks in the worst quartile on the Human Development Index. As of 2008, about half the population lived below the international poverty line of one US dollar and 25 cents a day. The French insular region of Mayotte, the most prosperous territory in the Mozambique Channel, is a major destination for migrants from the Comoros. Etymology The name Comoros derives from the Arabic word Camer. History Settlement According to mythology, a genie dropped a jewel, which formed a great circular inferno. This became the Karthala volcano, which created the island of Grande Comorie. King Solomon is also said to have visited the island. The first attested human inhabitants of the Comoro Islands are now thought to have been Austronesian settlers traveling by boat from islands in Southeast Asia. These people arrived no later than the 8th century AD, the date of the earliest known archaeological site, found on Mayotte, although settlement beginning as early as the 1st century has been postulated. Subsequent settlers came from the east coast of Africa, the Arabian Peninsula and the Persian Gulf, the Malay Archipelago, and Madagascar. Bantu-speaking settlers were present on the islands from the beginnings of settlement, probably brought to the islands as slaves. Development of the Comoros is divided into phases. The earliest reliably recorded phase is the Dambini phase, during which there were several small settlements on each island. From the 11th to the 15th centuries, trade with the island of Madagascar and merchants from the Swahili coast and the Middle East flourished, more villages were founded and existing villages grew. Many Comorians can trace their genealogies to ancestors from the Arabian Peninsula, particularly Hadramaut, who arrived during this period. Medieval Comoros According to legend, in 632, upon hearing of Islam, Icelanders are said to have dispatched an emissary, Mswaim Winsa, to Mecca but by the time he arrived there, 
the Muslim prophet Muhammad had died. Nonetheless, after a stay in Mecca, he returned to Engazidja and led the gradual conversion of his Icelanders to Islam. In 933, the Comoros was referred to by Omani sailors as the Perfume Islands. Among the earliest accounts of East Africa, the works of al Masudi describe early Islamic trade routes, and how the coast and islands were frequently visited by Muslims, including Persian and Arab merchants and sailors, in search of coral, ambergris, ivory, tortoiseshell gold and slaves. They also brought Islam to the people of the Zanje including the Comoros. As the importance of the Comoros grew along the East African coast, both small and large mosques were constructed. The Comoros are part of the Swahili cultural and economic complex and the islands became a major hub of trade and an important location in a network of trading towns that included Kilwe in present-day Tanzania, Sofala, in Mozambique, and Mombasa in Kenya. The Portuguese arrived in the Indian Ocean at the end of the 15th century and the first Portuguese visit to the islands seems to have been that of Vasco da Gama's second fleet in 1503. For much of the 16th century the islands provided provisions to the Portuguese fort at Mozambique and although there was no formal attempt by the Portuguese crown to take possession, a number of Portuguese traders settled. By the end of the 16th century the local rulers were beginning to push back and, with the support of the Omani Sultan Saif bin Sultan they began to defeat the Dutch and the Portuguese. His successor said bin Sultan increased Omani Arab influence in the region, moving his administration to nearby Zanzibar, which came under Omani rule. Nevertheless, the Comoros remained independent and although the three smaller islands were usually politically unified, the largest island, Angazitja, was divided into a number of autonomous kingdoms. By the time Europeans showed interest in the Comoros, the Icelanders were well placed to take advantage of their needs, initially supplying ships on the route to India, particularly the English and, later, slaves to the plantation islands in the Mascarenes. European Contact and French Colonization In the last decade of the 18th century, Malagasy warriors, mostly Batsimisarika and Sakalava, started raiding the Comoros for slaves and the islands were devastated as crops were destroyed and the people were slaughtered, taken into captivity or fled to the African mainland. It is said that by the time the raids finally ended in the second decade of the 19th century only one man remained on Willy. The islands were repopulated by slaves from the mainland, who were traded to the French in Mayotte and the Mascarenes. On the Comoros, it was estimated in 1865 that as much as 40% of the population consisted of slaves. France first established colonial rule in the Comoros by taking possession of Mayotte in 1841 when the Sakalava usurper Sultan Andrian Soli signed the Treaty of April 1841 which ceded the island to the French authorities. Meanwhile, Enswani continued to serve as a way station for English merchants sailing to India and the Far East, as well as American whalers, although the British gradually abandoned it following their possession of Mauritius in 1814, and by the time the Suez Canal opened in 1869 there was no longer any significant supply trade at Enswani. Local commodities exported by the Comoros were, in addition to slaves, coconuts, timber, cattle and tortoiseshell. French settlers, French-owned companies and wealthy Arab merchants established a plantation-based economy that used about one-third of the land for export crops. After its annexation, France converted Mayotte into a sugar plantation colony. The other islands were soon transformed as well and the major crops of ilong ilong, vanilla, cloves, perfume plants, coffee, cocoa beans, and sisal were introduced. In 1886, Mwili was placed under French protection by its Sultan Mardiani Abdu Cheikh. That same year, Sultan Said Ali of Bombayo, one of the Sultanates on Angazitja, placed the island under French protection in exchange for French support of his claim to the entire island, which he retained until his abdication in 1910. 
In 1908, the islands were unified under a single administration and placed under the authority of the French colonial governor-general of Madagascar. In 1909, Sultan Said Mohamed of Enswani abdicated in favor of French rule. In 1912 the colony and the protectorates were abolished and the islands became a province of the colony of Madagascar. Agreement was reached with France in 1973 for the Comoros to become independent in 1978, despite the deputies of Mayotte voting for increased integration with France. A referendum was held on all four of the islands. Three voted for independence by large margins, while Mayotte voted against and remains under French administration. On July 6, 1975, however, the Comorian Parliament passed a unilateral resolution declaring independence. Ahmed Abdallah proclaimed the independence of the Comorian state and became its first president. The French recognized the new state. Independence The next 30 years were a period of political turmoil. On August 3, 1975, less than one month after independence, President Ahmed Abdallah was removed from office in an armed coup and replaced with United National Front of the Comoros member said Mohamed Jafar. Months later, in January 1976, Jafar was ousted in favor of his Minister of Defense Ali Soila. The population of Mayotte voted against independence from France in three referendums during this period. The first, held on all the islands on December 22, 1974, won 63.8% support for maintaining ties with France on Mayotte, the second, held in February 1976, confirmed that vote with an overwhelming 99.4%, while the third, in April 1976, confirmed that the people of Mayotte wished to remain a French territory. The three remaining islands, ruled by President Soily, instituted a number of socialist and isolationist policies that soon strained relations with France. On May 13, 1978, Bob Denard, once again commissioned by the French intelligence service, returned to overthrow President Soily and reinstate Abdallah with the support of the French, Rhodesian and South African governments. Ali Soyla was captured and executed a few weeks later. In contrast to Soyla, Abdallah's presidency was marked by authoritarian rule and increased adherence to traditional Islam, and the country was renamed the Federal Islamic Republic of the Comoros. Bob Denard served as Abdallah Abdirahman as first advisor, nicknamed the Viceroy of the Comoros, he was sometimes considered the real strongman of the regime. Very close to South Africa, which financed his presidential guard, he allowed Paris to circumvent the international embargo on the apartheid regime via Moroni. He also set up from the archipelago a permanent mercenary corps, called upon to intervene at the request of Paris or Pretoria in conflicts in Africa. Abdallah continued as president until 1989 when, fearing a probable coup, he signed a decree ordering the presidential guard, led by Bob Denard, to disarm the armed forces. Shortly after the signing of the decree, Abdallah was allegedly shot dead in his office by a disgruntled military officer, though later sources claim an anti-tank missile was launched into his bedroom and killed him. Although Denard was also injured, it is suspected that Abdallah's killer was a soldier under his command. A few days later, Bob Denard was evacuated to South Africa by French paratroopers. Said Mohamed Johar, Soilia's older half-brother, then became president, and served until September 1995, when Bob Denard returned and attempted another coup. This time France intervened with paratroopers and forced Denard to surrender. The French removed Johar to reunion and the Paris-backed Mohamed Taki Abdul Karim became president by election. He led the country from 1996, during a time of labor crises, government suppression and secessionist conflicts, until his death in November 1998.
he was succeeded by interim president Tajuddin Ben said Masoande. The islands of Enswani and Wali declared their independence from the Comoros in 1997, in an attempt to restore French rule. But France rejected their request, leading to bloody confrontations between federal troops and rebels. In April 1999, Colonel Azalea Simani, Army Chief of Staff, seized power in a bloodless coup overthrowing the interim president Masoande, citing weak leadership in the face of the crisis. This was the Comoros' 18th coup, or attempted coup d'état since independence in 1975. Azali failed to consolidate power and re-establish control over the islands, which was the subject of international criticism. The African Union, under the auspices of President Thabo Mbiki of South Africa, imposed sanctions on Enswani to help broker negotiations and effect reconciliation. Under the terms of the Fomboni Accords, signed in December 2001 by the leaders of all three islands, the official name of the country was changed to the Union of the Comoros, the new state was to be highly decentralized and the central union government would devolve most powers to the new island governments, each led by a president. The union president, although elected by national elections, would be chosen in rotation from each of the islands every five years. Azali stepped down in 2002 to run in the democratic election of the president of the Comoros, which he won. Under ongoing international pressure, as a military ruler who had originally come to power by force, and was not always democratic while in office, Azali led the Comoros through constitutional changes that enabled new elections. A Loi de Competences law was passed in early 2005 that defines the responsibilities of each governmental body, and is in the process of implementation. The elections in 2006 were won by Ahmed Abdallah Mohamed Sambi, a Sunni Muslim cleric nicknamed the Ayatollah for his time spent studying Islam in Iran. Azali honored the election results, thus allowing the first peaceful and democratic exchange of power for the archipelago. Colonel Mohamed Bakar, a French trained former gendarme elected president of Enswani in 2001, refused to step down at the end of his five year mandate. He staged a vote in June 2007 to confirm his leadership that was rejected as illegal by the Comoros federal government and the African Union. On March 25, 2008 hundreds of soldiers from the African Union and the Comoros seized rebel-held Enswani, generally welcomed by the population, there have been reports of hundreds, if not thousands, of people tortured during Bakar's tenure. Some rebels were killed and injured, but there are no official figures. At least 11 civilians were wounded. Some officials were imprisoned. Bakar fled in a speedboat to Mayotte to seek asylum. Anti-French protests followed in the Comoros. Bakar was eventually granted asylum in Benin. Since independence from France, the Comoros experienced more than 20 coups or attempted coups. Following elections in late 2010, former Vice President Akilolo Doinin was inaugurated as president on May 26, 2011. A member of the ruling party, Doinin was supported in the election by the incumbent President Ahmed Abdallah Mohamed Sambi. Doinin, a pharmacist by training, is the first president of the Comoros from the island of Mwili. Following the 2016 elections, Azali Asumani, from Engazidja, became president for a third term. In 2018 Azali held a referendum on constitutional reform that would permit a president to serve two terms. The amendments passed, although the vote was widely contested and boycotted by the opposition, and in April 2019, and to widespread opposition, Azali was re-elected president to serve the first of potentially two five-year terms. In January 2020, the legislative elections in Comoros were dominated by President Azali Asimani's party, the Convention for the Renewal of the Comoros, CRC. It took an overwhelming majority in the parliament, meaning his hold on power strengthened. 
CRC took 17 out of 24 seats of the parliament. In 2021, Comoros signed and ratified the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, making it a nuclear weapon free state. Geography The Comoros is formed by Engazitja, Mwili, and Enswani, three major islands in the Comoros archipelago, as well as many minor islets. The islands are officially known by their Comorian language names, though international sources still use their French names. The capital and largest city, Moroni, is located on Engazitja. The archipelago is situated in the Indian Ocean, in the Mozambique Channel, between the African coast and Madagascar, with no land borders. At 1,861 square kilometers, it is one of the smallest countries in the world. The Comoros also has claim to 320 square kilometers of territorial seas. The interiors of the islands vary from steep mountains to low hills. The areas and populations of the main islands are as follows. Angazitja is the largest of the Comoros archipelago, with an area of 1,147 square kilometers. It is also the most recent island, and therefore has rocky soil. The island's two volcanoes, Kardhala and La Grille, and the lack of good harbors are distinctive characteristics of its terrain. Mwili, with its capital at Fomboni, is the smallest of the four major islands. Enswani, whose capital is Mutsamudu, has a distinctive triangular shape caused by three mountain chains Shijuani, Niamakil, and Jimmy Lime emanating from a central peak, Mount Ntingui. The islands of the Comoros archipelago were formed by volcanic activity. Mount Karthala, an active shield volcano located on Engazitja, is the country's highest point, at 2,361 meters. It contains the Comoros' largest patch of disappearing rainforest. Karthala is currently one of the most active volcanoes in the world, with a minor eruption in May 2006, and prior eruptions as recently as April 2005 and 1991. In the 2005 eruption, which lasted from 17 to April 19, 40,000 citizens were evacuated, and the crater lake in the volcano's 3 by 4 km caldera was destroyed. The Comoros also lays claim to the Isles Eparses or Isles Eparses de l'Ocean Indian Glorioso Islands, comprising Grande Glorias, Isle du Lys, Rec Rock, South Rock, Verde Rocks, and three unnamed islets one of France's overseas districts. The Glorioso Islands were administered by the colonial Comoros before 1975, and are therefore sometimes considered part of the Comoros archipelago. Bank du Geyser, a former island in the Comoros archipelago, now submerged, is geographically located in the Isles Eparses, but was annexed by Madagascar in 1976 as an unclaimed territory. The Comoros and France each still view the Bank du Geyser as part of the Glorioso Islands and, thus, part of its particular exclusive economic zone. Climate The climate is generally tropical and mild, and the two major seasons are distinguishable by their raininess. The temperature reaches an average of 29-30 degrees C in March, the hottest month in the rainy season, and an average low of 19 degrees Celsius in the cool, dry season, which proceeds from May to October. The islands are rarely subject to cyclones. Biodiversity The Comoros constitute an ecorjun in their own right, Comoros forests. It had a 2018 Forest Landscape Integrity Index mean score of 7.69-10, ranking it 33rd globally out of 172 countries. In December 1952 a specimen of the coelacanth fish was rediscovered off the Comoros coast. The 66-million-year-old species was thought to have been long extinct until its first recorded appearance in 1938 off the South African coast. Between 1938 and 1975, 84 specimens were caught and recorded. Protected Areas 
There are six national parks in the Comoros Kardhala, Kailokanth, and Mitsamili Andraudi on Grande Comori, Mount Entrangui and Shijuani on Anjouan, and Mohli National Park on Mohli. Kardhala and Mount Entrigi National Parks cover the highest peaks on the respective islands, and Kailokanth, Mitsamili Andraudi, and Shijuani are marine national parks that protect the island's coastal waters and fringing reefs. Mohli National Park includes both terrestrial and marine areas. Government Politics of the Comoros takes place in a framework of a federal presidential republic whereby the President of the Comoros is both head of state and head of government, and of a multi-party system. The Constitution of the Union of the Comoros was ratified by referendum on December 23, 2001, and the island's constitutions and executives were elected in the following months. It had previously been considered a military dictatorship and the transfer of power from Azali Asimani to Ahmed Abdallah Mohamed Sambi in May 2006 was a watershed moment as it was the first peaceful transfer in Comorian history. Executive power is exercised by the government. Federal legislative power is vested in both the government and parliament. The preamble of the constitution guarantees an Islamic inspiration in governance, a commitment to human rights, and several specific enumerated rights, democracy, a common destiny for all Comorians. Each of the islands has a great amount of autonomy in the Union, including having their own constitutions, president, and parliament. The presidency and assembly of the Union are distinct from each of the island's governments. The presidency of the Union rotates between the islands. Despite widespread misgivings about the durability of the system of presidential rotation, Engazidja holds the current presidency rotation, and Azali is president of the union, Enzwani is in theory to provide the next president. Legal System The Comorian legal system rests on Islamic law, an inherited French legal code, and customary law. Village elders, Qadis, or civilian courts settle most disputes. The judiciary is independent of the legislative and the executive. The Supreme Court acts as a constitutional council in resolving constitutional questions and supervising presidential elections. As High Court of Justice, the Supreme Court also arbitrates in cases where the government is accused of malpractice. The Supreme Court consists of two members selected by the President, two elected by the Federal Assembly, and one by the council of each island. Political Culture Around 80% of the central government's annual budget is spent on the country's complex administrative system which provides for a semi-autonomous government and president for each of the three islands and a rotating presidency for the overarching union government. A referendum took place on May 16, 2009 to decide whether to cut down the government's unwieldy political bureaucracy. 52.7% of those eligible voted, and 93.8% of votes were cast in approval of the referendum. Following the implementation of the changes, each island's president became a governor and the ministers became councillors. Foreign Relations In November 1975, the Comoros became the 143rd member of the United Nations. The new nation was defined as comprising the entire archipelago, although the citizens of Mayotte chose to become French citizens and keep their island as a French territory. The Comoros has repeatedly pressed its claim to Mayotte before the United Nations General Assembly, which adopted a series of resolutions under the caption Question of the Comorian Island of Mayotte opining that Mayotte belongs to the Comoros under the principle that the territorial integrity of colonial territories should be preserved upon independence. As a practical matter, however, these resolutions have little effect and there is no foreseeable likelihood that Mayotte will become de facto part of the Comoros without its people's consent. More recently, the Assembly has maintained this item on its agenda but deferred it from year to year without taking action. Other bodies, including the Organization of African Unity, the Movement of Non-Aligned Countries and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, 
have similarly questioned French sovereignty over Mayotte. To close the debate and to avoid being integrated by force in the Union of the Comoros, the population of Mayotte overwhelmingly chose to become an overseas department in a region of France in a 2009 referendum. The new status was effective on March 31, 2011 and Mayotte has been recognized as an outermost region by the European Union on January 1, 2014. This decision legally integrates Mayotte in the French Republic. The Comoros is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Arab League, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund the Indian Ocean Commission and the African Development Bank. On April 10, 2008, the Comoros became the 179th nation to accept the Kyoto Protocol to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The Comoros signed the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. In May 2013 the Union of the Comoros became known for filing a referral to the Office of the Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court regarding the events of the May 31, 2010 Israeli raid on the humanitarian aid flotilla bound for Gaza Strip. In November 2014 the ICC prosecutor eventually decided that the events did constitute war crimes but did not meet the gravity standards of bringing the case before ICC. The emigration rate of skilled workers was about 21.2% in 2000. Military The military resources of the Comoros consist of a small standing army and a 500-member police force, as well as a 500-member defense force. A defense treaty with France provides naval resources for protection of territorial waters, training of Comorian military personnel, and air surveillance. France maintains the presence of a few senior officers in the Comoros at government request, as well as a small maritime base and a foreign legion detachment on Mayotte. Once the new government was installed in May-June 2011, an expert mission from UNREC came to the Comoros and produced guidelines for the elaboration of a national security policy, which were discussed by different actors, notably the national defense authorities and civil society. By the end of the program in end March 2012, a normative framework agreed upon by all entities involved in SSR will have been established. This will then have to be adopted by Parliament and implemented by the authorities. Human rights. Both male and female same sex sexual acts are illegal in Comoros. Such acts are punished with up to five years' imprisonment. Economy. The level of poverty in the Comoros is high, but judging by the international poverty threshold of $1.90 per person per day, only two out of every ten Comorians could be classified as poor a rate that places the Comoros ahead of other low-income countries and 30 percentage points ahead of other countries Indiana Sub-Saharan Africa. Poverty declined by about 10% between 2014 and 2018, and living conditions generally improved. Economic inequality remains widespread, with a major gap between rural and urban areas. Remittances through the sizable Comorian diaspora form a substantial part of the country's GDP and have contributed to decreases in poverty and increases in living standards. According to ILO's ELASTAT statistical database, between 1991 and 2019 the unemployment rate as a percent of the total labor force ranged from 4.38% to 4.3%. An October 2005 paper by the Comoros Ministry of Planning and Regional Development, however, reported that registered unemployment rate is 14.3%, distributed very unevenly among and within the islands, but with marked incidence in urban areas. In 2019, more than 56% of the labor force was employed in agriculture with 29% employed in industry and 14% employed in services. The island's agricultural sector is based on the export of spices, including vanilla, cinnamon, and cloves, and thus susceptible to price fluctuations in the volatile world commodity market for these goods. The Comoros is the world's largest producer of ilong-ilong, 
a plant whose extracted essential oil is used in the perfume industry, some 80% of the world's supply comes from the Comoros. High population densities, as much as 1,000 per square kilometer Indiana the densest agricultural zones, for what is still a mostly rural, agricultural economy may lead to an environmental crisis in the near future, especially considering the high rate of population growth. In 2004 the Comoros real GDP growth was a low 1.9% and real GDP per capita continued to decline. These declines are explained by factors including declining investment, drops in consumption, rising inflation, and an increase in trade imbalance due in part to lowered cash crop prices, especially vanilla. Fiscal policy is constrained by erratic fiscal revenues, a bloated civil service wage bill, and an external debt that is far above the HIPC threshold. Membership in the Frank Zone, the main anchor of stability, has nevertheless helped contain pressures on domestic prices. The Comoros has an inadequate transportation system, a young and rapidly increasing population, and few natural resources. The low educational level of the labor force contributes to a subsistence level of economic activity, high unemployment, and a heavy dependence on foreign grants and technical assistance. Agriculture contributes 40% to GDP and provides most of the exports. The government is struggling to upgrade education and technical training, to privatize commercial and industrial enterprises, to improve health services, to diversify exports to promote tourism, and to reduce the high population growth rate. The Comoros is a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa. Demographics With fewer than a million people, the Comoros is one of the least populous countries in the world, but is also one of the most densely populated, with an average of 275 inhabitants per square kilometer. In 2001, 34% of the population was considered urban, but that is expected to grow, since rural population growth is negative, while overall population growth is still relatively high. Almost half the population of the Comoros is under the age of 15. Major urban centers include Moroni, Mitsamihalai, Fumbani, Mutsamudu, Damoni, and Fomboni. There are between 200,000 and 350,000 Comorians in France. Ethnic Groups The islands of the Comoros are 97.1% ethnically Comorian, which is a mixture of Bantu, Malagasy, and Arab people. Minorities include Makua and Indian. There are recent immigrants of Chinese origin in Grande Comori. Although most French left after independence in 1975, a small Creole community, descended from settlers from France, Madagascar, and Reunion, lives in the Comoros. Languages The most common languages in the Comoros are the Comorian languages, collectively known as Shikamori. They are related to Swahili, and the four different variants are spoken on each of the four islands. Arabic and Latin scripts are both used, Arabic being the more widely used, and an official orthography has recently been developed for the Latin script. Arabic and French are also official languages, along with Comorian. Arabic is widely known as a second language, being the language of Quranic teaching. French is the administrative language and the language of most non Quranic formal education. Religion Sunni Islam is the dominant religion, followed by as much as 99% of the population. Comoros is the only Muslim-majority country in southern Africa and the third southernmost Muslim-majority territory after Mayotte and the Australian territory of Cocos Islands. A minority of the population of the Comoros are Christian, both Catholic and Protestant denominations are represented, and most Malagasy residents are also Christian. Immigrants from metropolitan France are mostly Catholic. Health There are 15 physicians per 100,000 people. The fertility rate was 4.7 per adult woman in 2004. Life expectancy at birth is 67 for females and 62 for males. 
education. Almost all children attend Quranic schools, usually before, although increasingly in tandem with regular schooling. Children are taught about the Quran, and memorize it, and learn the Arabic script. Most parents prefer their children to attend Quran schools before moving on to the French-based schooling system. Although the state sector is plagued by a lack of resources, and the teachers by unpaid salaries, there are numerous private and community schools of relatively good standard. The national curriculum, apart from a few years during the revolutionary period immediately post-independence, has been very much based on the French system, both because resources are French and most Comorians hope to go on to further education in France. There have recently been moves to Comorianus the syllabus and integrate the two systems, the formal and the Quran schools, into one, thus moving away from the secular educational system inherited from France. Pre colonization education systems in Comoros focused on necessary skills such as agriculture, caring for livestock, and completing household tasks. Religious education also taught children the virtues of Islam. The education system underwent a transformation during colonization in the early 1900s which brought secular education based on the French system. This was mainly for children of the elite. After Comoros gained independence in 1975, the education system changed again. Funding for teachers' salaries was lost, and many went on strike. Thus, the public education system was not functioning between 1997 and 2001. Since gaining independence, the education system has also undergone a democratization and options exist for those other than the elite. Enrollment has also grown. In 2000, 44.2% of children ages 5 to 14 years were attending school. There is a general lack of facilities, equipment, qualified teachers, textbooks, and other resources. Salaries for teachers are often so far in arrears that many refuse to work. Prior to 2000, students seeking a university education had to attend school outside of the country. However, in the early 2000s, a university was created in the country. This served to help economic growth and to fight the flight of many educated people who were not returning to the islands to work. About 57% of the population is literate in the Latin script, while more than 90% are literate in the Arabic script. Comorian has no native script, but both Arabic and Latin scripts are used. Culture Traditionally, women on Enswani wear red and white patterned garments called Shuromani while on Engazidja and woolly colorful shawls called leso are worn. Many women apply a paste of ground sandalwood and coral called mizanzano to their faces. Traditional male clothing is a long white shirt known as ngandu, and a bonnet called a kofia. Marriage There are two types of marriages in Comoros, the little marriage and the customary marriage. The little marriage is a simple legal marriage. It is small, intimate, and inexpensive and the bride's dowry is nominal. A man may undertake a number of Nataho marriages in his lifetime, often at the same time, a woman fewer, but both men and women will usually only undertake one Ada, or grand marriage, and this must generally be within the village. The hallmarks of the grand marriage are dazzling gold jewelry, two weeks of celebration and an enormous bridal dowry. Although the expenses are shared between both families as well as with a wider social circle, an Ada wedding on Engazidja can cost up to 50,000 euros. Many couples take a lifetime to save for their Ada, and it is not uncommon for a marriage to be attended by a couple's adult children. The Ada marriage marks a man's transition in the Engazidja age system from youth to elder. His status in the social hierarchy greatly increases and he will henceforth be entitled to speak in public and participate in the political process, both in his village and more widely across the island. He will be entitled to display his status by wearing a mharima, a type of shawl, across his shoulders, and he can enter the mosque by the door reserved for elders, and sit at the front. A woman's status also changes, although less formally, 
as she becomes a mother and moves into her own house. The system is less formalized on the other islands, but the marriage is nevertheless a significant and costly event across the archipelago. The Ada is often criticized because of its great expense, but at the same time it is a source of social cohesion and the main reason why migrants in France and elsewhere continue to send money home. Increasingly, marriages are also being taxed for the purposes of village development. Kinship and Social Structure Como Ryan society has a bilateral descent system. Lineage membership and inheritance of immovable goods is matrilineal, passed in the maternal line, similar to many Bantu peoples who are also matrilineal, while other goods and patronymics are passed in the male line. However, there are differences between the islands, the matrilineal element being stronger on Engazidja. Music Turab music imported from Zanzibar in the early 20th century, remains the most influential genre on the islands and is popular at Ada marriages. Media There are two daily national newspapers published in the Comoros, the government-owned Al Watuan, and the privately owned La Gazette des Comores, both published in Moroni. There are a number of smaller newsletters published on an irregular basis as well as a variety of news websites. The government-owned ORTC provides national radio and television service. There is a TV station run by the Anjouan Regional Government, and regional governments on the islands of Grande Comorie and Anjouan each operate a radio station. There are also a few independent and small community radio stations that operate on the islands of Grande Comorie and Mohli, and these two islands have access to Mayotte Radio and French TV. See also Index of Comoros-related articles Notes